Okay guys, let's go ahead and differentiate sine 1 over x now. Now with all chain rule problems, you always have to let the terms inside the sine cos or whatever trick expression be u. So in this case, we're going to let now um, u equal 1 over x. And by the way, x is, this is also the same as x to the negative 1, to make it easier. And now because we let this term be u, we can update the y equation as this. We can say now we've got y equals sine u. So it's always important to write that second bit down as well, yeah? Now, all you want to do is differentiate both of them. So we say, okay, for the first one, we've got du over dx. If you differentiate x to negative 1, you drop the power down, so you get minus 1 times that. So we minus x and subtract it by 1, power minus 2. For the dy over du expression, because remember you got y and u, sine u is literally just cos u. Okay, and now all you want to do is multiply your two derivative problems, yeah? So that's it. You get both of them and you just multiply. And when you do that, we say therefore the final answer, which is expression which is dy over dx, is going to be literally these two multiplied together. So you got minus x to negative 2 times cos u. And don't forget guys, for these problems you must always return the letters they want. So they want in terms of x. So you replace this cos u this u of x to the negative 1. So it would be minus x to the power minus 2 cos x to the minus 1. And if you want to be like extra fancy, keep it like in a way that it was originally written. So instead of the negative powers, the, e to the x to the minus 2 is basically minus, is, is 1 over x squared. So it's going to look something like this. So you're going to have cos 1 over x over uh, 1 over x. Oops over x squared and then you put the minus sign here and that's it